Okay, this, this next one, this is my number one favorite exercise, stroke warm up, stroke activation, stroke stretch, because it does all of those things, okay? This could have been designed for runners because as runners, we don't like to do any other form of exercise other than running and we don't like to stretch and we don't like to cool down. And that's just a fact of life. And even me who knows better, I don't like to do it. I just like to put my trainers on and go out. So this is a fantastic, you know, pre-run uh, warm-up stretch off activation circuit because it takes about four minutes. So you're not wasting any time that could be spent out on the trails and it does everything that you need it to do. What I've done is I've taken a rubber band, I've attached it about waist high, I've sealed it with a freeze bag clip and I've just stepped forward to take a bit of the, um, so I've got a bit of pull into my pelvis and I've got it sat. If I felt on my pelvis, I could feel the bony crest. If I reach forward, there's two prominent bony points and it's sat just beneath that. So I'm going to start off with my feet pointing forward, my hands on my hips. I'm going to start off with a single leg touchdown. So to begin with, what you can do to begin with is, so as I bend down, I'm going to keep my neck in line with my head. So I'm not going to look up at all. And I'm going to take my opposite hand to opposite foot. I'm going to bend down and I'm going to touch my toe. And then as I come up, I'm going to do a hip thrust through the band. Okay. Now to start with, you can have, so my right leg's going back, I can allow that to touch the floor. Okay, just a step forward just a little bit. When you get good at it, you can keep your right foot off the floor the whole time. Yeah, but don't worry if you can't do that to begin with. I'm starting to wobble there. Yeah, if you can stabilize on that toe, come up, look up, push, push through at the hips, and you'll do 10 on each leg. But it's not slow, it's this kind of speed. So you can imagine you can get through this pretty fast. So you do 10 on the left, that's 10. Then you do 10 on the right. Okay. Once I've done 10 each leg like that, what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to take my right leg and it's going to come in front of my left, in line and in front. And I'm lunging forward, so I'm keeping my back leg straight, back leg straight, bending the front leg, leaning forward, stepping back. And it's this kind of speed again. So the first one was a bit of an active hamstring stretch, coupled with a bit of glute medius, glute max activation. Now we're doing a bit of a calf, as we're stepping over, we may get a little bit of TFL stretch off, coupled again with glute activation, okay? So you do 10 each side, just stepping forward into a forward lunge. Always keep your hips pushed into the band. Don't let it buckle you backwards. You should be stood straight up and proud, okay? So 10 each side like that. So you can see this is, this is rapid. So we've done those two. Now onto the third one, feet under knees, under hips, feet pointing forwards. And then we can have hands on ears. And all we're gonna do, sink down into a squat, up through a hip thrust. And we're just gonna perform 10, like so. And then when we've done 10 of our prisoner squats, what we'll do, turn side on. So I'm side on now. And this one to begin with takes a little bit of setting up because what I want to have is when I step out, so I'm going to step out into a side lunge, but I want my feet in a position that this knee is over this toe, is over this hip. So this side of my body looks like a squat, but this leg is straight out to the side. Okay, so it takes it. So test it first and like, that's, I mean, we want a bit of pull on the band, a bit of resistance. So that looks right there. So when I step out, I step to there. And then I'm, once I've got that, I'm straight into it. 
and I'm doing 10 on each side, my back nice and straight. I'm doing a bit of an adductor stretch, so the stretch on the inside of my left leg while stabilising and activating on this side. And when I've done 10 on that side, that's right, I'll check my position. And you want your list leg far enough out that you feel the stretch down the inside of the thigh. So there we go. Then I'll be away. So once I've got that position, I'm looking up, I'm not looking down at that foot because I know that I set it up correctly at the start. And I'll do 10 like this. And then that's it. So literally four, five minutes, and then you're good to go. And what you've done there is you've done an active stretch into your hamstrings, your adductors, your hip flexors, your calves, and the whole time you're activating your glute medius and your glute max. So you've loosened off the muscles which are prone to tightening and causing you issues when you run, and you've activated the muscles you need for your one-legged stability and your propulsion. Um, and so yeah, that's why I like it, quick, easy, fast, and you're out the door.